Hello everybody, Anthony Faraji here, and this will basically be the kickoff for a tutorial series I will be doing called Building an RTS in Unity. Now I've wanted to do this tutorial series for a while, but just never had the time, so now that I'm homesick, I thought might as well do it. So, in episode one, which is this episode, I will be showing you how to just set up a basic scene and put the unity or the unit detection script together. So I guess let's get started. I would have taken the liberty of setting up the whole project, but I decided to do it while recording so everybody knows how I set up my pro how I personally set up my project. So basically I just have I'll have three base folders called scripts, scenes, and then prefabs. Later, when I start adding more and more to the game, I'll probably start adding different folders for different things. And let's just save this scene in the scenes folder. And create a new script. I will be using JavaScript since that is the script, the scripting language I do know how to use in Unity. I'm okay with C Sharp, it's just not something I prefer using. Let's create a new JavaScript and we will name this Unit Detection. Now, this script we're going to put on an empty game object called Unit Detector, which we will create now. Drag this into the camera so it does follow the camera and name it Unit Detector. Enter. Let's reset all of its position so we know it's centered to the camera and drag the unit detection script to it. And I guess let's start editing it. I personally use Mono Develop. It doesn't matter what I what program you do use. I do suggest you do use Mono Develop since it has a lot of nice features and it just overall really easy to use. So, let's get started. We're going to need two variables called ray and hit. Now, these will not be public variables, so we are going to nest them inside of the update function. Er, let's actually not put it in the update function. Let's create a whole new function for it called shoot ray. Now, these two variables will be used for shooting the ray down when you click on the screen. So, instead of just having everything in one big update function, let's separate it out so it's easier to edit in the future. So we need var ray, which will be equal to camera dot main dot screen point to ray, then input dot mouse position. Basically what this does is it obviously creates a variable called ray, and sets wherever your mouse is, it will shoot a ray downwards from the camera position. So now we want another ray called hit. And this will just be a ray cast hit. Nothing special, just a simple variable we do need. Save that. Now we're actually going to check if the ray cast is shooting. So we're going to do if physics.raycast ray, which is the ray variable that we've created from the mouse position, hit, which is the raycast hit, and then we're going to set a distance for how far it shoots. I'm going to go with 100 since we do want a far ray in case the levels do have like steep slopes and they go fairly far down, the units go just kind of into a valley or something. It's kind of hard to explain, but we'll just set that to 100. And save that off. So, now we have the basics kind of done. So, now we're going to just go into the update function and call shoot red. Now, every frame it's going to call that shoot ray function. Now, we don't want that, 
but we're just going to do that for testing. Now back to the shoot ray function. Under the if statement, like below the last bracket, we are going to put a debug um, draw ray statement. Basically that will just draw the ray so we know how long it is, or we know that it's shooting basically. So we're going to do hit dot origin or oops ray dot origin, sorry. Hit dot point and then color dot red I guess. I've I've just always done my debug rays red, so I guess we'll do it like that. So now that we have that done, let's actually test our scene out. Save the scene. And click play. Now it seems though we've gotten air. Let's check this out. I wasn't expecting one. Oh. Just missed a parenthesis. Nothing that big. And let's go back. See there should be two parentheses here, not one. Six out of this and play. So Obviously, you can't see anything in game because the debug ray is shown only in the scene view. So we're going to go to this, and for some reason, it's not displaying the ray itself. That's kind of weird. I'm going to try dragging this onto the main camera and see if that did anything. No, it did not, so. Oh, I'm zoomed in fairly far. Um, not quite sure why the ray is not displaying. Um,. But it should all be working. Ah, uh, okay. It's not displaying the ray because there's nothing to hit it. So let's just create a plane, I guess, or something simple. So we do this plane. Bring it down a little bit, and we're going to scale it to 10 by 10. Just so we have a very large playing area to just mess around in. So now, if we play, we should be able to see the ray, but we can't, which is weird. Okay, I'm unsure why Unity is doing this, but doesn't really matter at this point. Now that we've had the floor, let's drag the camera up a little bit and rotate it so it actually looks like an RTS styled game. We're going to rotate the, bring the position up to 10, and rotate this about, I go 45? I think I'll go 45 degrees on the x-axis. Save this off, and let's add a light. Um, let's go with a point light. Drag that up here, just enlarge it a bit. Here. Just so we our scene isn't just one single gray color. We play this, we have our basic scene set up. Now to check if this function is actually being called we can remove this debug ray since it really isn't worth it. We're going to do a debug.log and then just say shooting ray. Now let's go back to here, play. And we should have tons of messages saying shooting ray. So at least we know the ray is being shot. Now let's move this into here to make sure it's actually checking if you get a collision. So oops. as you could see as I move my mouse around it can detect that it's touching the ray. But oops. But obviously we don't want it always checking. We only want it to check when we click the mouse when we left click or right click. So let's add that. In the update function we're gonna have an if statement. If input 
dot get mouse button down zero then shoot the ray and basically that will say basically that will only check or shoot the ray if you left click down so let's check that out as you see when I click the shoot ray comes up fairly simple nothing too complex so I think I may end here for the ter first tutorial um I will most likely be recording episode 2 once I stop recording this one and just have a massive editing session for the rest of the day um thank you for watching and tell all of your friends anybody who uses unity so thank you for watching and goodbye